Yo, yo. Yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> what is up, my people? It is Derek. My man. The fundamentals of side hustling. You already know what day it has to be. It has to be a Tuesday because I'm bringing y'all that hot five and odd five of the week. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Derek. I am a full-time reseller. And what reselling is, is basically you going out, finding things to buy on the low, and then turning that around and selling it for a higher price. Yep. Now you can do that by going out to estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, retail stores, or even you can do it sitting at home, looking at the computer screen, buying things off of clearance. Yes. So if that's something you're into and you want to follow my journey and possibly learn a few tips here and there, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and go ahead and hit that bell. And what that bell tells you is when I drop that new hot fire. So today is Tuesday. And what I normally do on Tuesdays is I bring you my hot five, which is my top net selling items of the week. And I bring you my odd five to 10. And what those are are things you should possibly look out for when you're outsourcing. Nope. Hear ye, hear ye. Just want y'all to know for the first time in a long time, I have zero toys in my hot five. What? Yes, mark this day on the calendar. I don't know when you may see it again, but I have zero toys in my hot five. Shut Which up. means I am selling other great things. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go into my hot five of the week. So number five. My number five item this week was, and I'm looking behind the screen because my computer is back there. It was a square stand. It was a contactless square stand that you see in retail stores where they ring you up. Huh. This is an Apple stand. It holds an iPad. This item sold for $84 and with shipping, $102.67. That was my number five item in my hot five. My number four item of the week was a Nintendo Wii set. It had a couple of games. It had the Wii Fit board. I just bundled it all together. Sold it for $130.01. $165.14 with shipping. I have $45 into this complete bundle. So it's pretty good profit. And going back to my number five item, I have $29 into that particular item. My man. Now, going into my number three and my hot five is a phone soap pro. What? And what that is, for all you germaphobe, you put your phone in this thing, you close it up, and that little blue light, as they like to call it, what is it, neon light? Nope. UV light, I don't know, one of those things. It cleans your phone. At least that's what they say. Somebody believes in it because they paid $159.01. And with shipping, it came out to $185.88. My number two item in my hot five is a camera bundle. This is a Pentax ME camera bundle it had a couple lenses it had the case it had a couple filters a little bit of everything i had this thing for over i want to say over a year already and i didn't fold on the price i just put the price down and let it sit there it sold for 195 dollars and one cent 211 dollars and 10 cent including shipping now my number one item of the week is a hot banger now this particular item i've had for about two months I knew it would take a while to sell because it was just one of those items. This was a California light work solar system light. Basically this was a grow light. It's a light you put above your devil's lettuce 
to let it grow. This item sold for $380. With shipping, it was $426.45. Stranger danger! I have $125 into this particular item. And going to my number two item, going back, I only have $30 into that camera. So that, my friends, was my epic Hot Five. And the reason why I say it's epic is because you will hardly ever see my Hot Five with no toys for model cars, trains, planes, automobiles, whatever, model whatever in it. Nope. So take, so take note of it. Now going to my odd five to 10. Now these odd five to 10 items, I don't never mention toys or, or, or models or anything like that because we all know those sell. These are odd things that you may want to be out on the lookout for when you're outsourcing. Let's go ahead and jump yep. into my odd five to 10. First one is, uh, I sold this lens. It's a little unique lens. It's a vintage, a glee, cine, yeah, it's a lens. I don't know what it's for, it's for an old camera. This thing sold for $29.41, $35.16. I am about $10 into this. Huh. This is something I found at a garage. No, was it a garage sale? No, it was a thrift store. These are little decanters. It's four of them. They're sports related. I have $2 into each one. Uh, these sold for $42.67. $65.02 with shipping. Sold a couple pair of shoes and I just want to throw these out there uh, because shoes are starting to flow for me for some particular reason. Sold a pair of Nike Hirachi Edges. Uh, these sold for $49.81. $63.13 with shipping. I have $20 into these. I like turtles. Then I sold a pair of New Balances. These are a New Balance. Um, GM 500 SDs, about a whole row of them from Marshalls. They were only $29 and I sold it for $62.01. Excellent. And I think I paid for shipping on that. So I made about $15, $20 on that shoe. The next item is this Angel Perfume. I bought this Angel Perfume, I want to say two or three months ago. I sold a couple. Uh, this item sold for $36.01. I expect them to start flowing out a lot better because Christmas is coming around. $54.86 with shipping. And I am actually going to boost that price up so they can sell during Christmas time. My man! I sold this Rosetta Stone. This is a full course, two year subscription. This particular item sold for $39.01. I got this from BidRL, one of my favorite places to go. Uh, I only have, I think about $9 into this. Uh, so once again, $39.01 free shipping on that. And shipping was only about $3.50. And one more thing I'm gonna share with you. I'm trying to find something really good. So the last thing I'm gonna share with you is this turbo tax so i sold i bought i can't even tell you how many i want to say i got like 40 of these things for about two dollars each turbo tax premier 2019 for investment and rental properties this item sold for 23 dollars and one cent free shipping on this because it's media mail it only is going to cost me about two dollars and 95 cents to ship out and or three dollars and 24 cents to ship out I have one to two dollars into each, each of these on average because I bought two separate lots of them. These are those daily flippers. Gotta have them. And that's my hot five and odd five to ten of the week. It was a pretty good week. Not gonna lie. It was like a consistent week. Probably one of the best weeks I've had since that whole pandemic thing broke out. So am I ruined the did I make my goal? Yeah, I did. I, I made my goal. And to help me do that. I like to write it on my productivity board or as known on my channel my Seagram 7 sales board let's take a trip you already know I made it right you just don't know how much I made it by so my goal is a thousand dollars no drum roll needed for this I made it this is what I made last week so I made eighteen hundred and eighty two dollars last week my man I made 93. I sold. <coughs> he needs some milk. I sold 93 items. 
for an average of $20.23. That's kind of my average between $18 and $20 per item. If I went gross sales, that's before fees, I would have made like $2,989. So after all that, $1,882. Starting with Sunday, I started off with 1,327 items in my store online. Only posted two items on Sunday. I've been trying to take a you know Saturday and Sunday off. Uh, 336 gross sales, $208 net sales. So not bad. Started off hot. Sold 14 items. And by the way, I sold double-digit items every single day of this week, except Saturday, which typically is one of my slowest days because everybody's out doing stuff, especially when the weather is nice. Now, since it's starting to get cold, just to start seeing more sales on the weekend because people are gonna be sitting at home eating bonbons and donuts and all those delicious treats and they're gonna be shopping. Huh. Anyway, moving on, my Tuesday sales, you see, Thursday, well, sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday was my biggest day, $413. I just wanna show y'all this. I have four days in a row, four days in a row where I had over 500 gross sell dollars. 579, 534, 532, and 552. And look at the difference in net sales. Depends on what you sell, how much you have invested into it. What is your cost per item, right? It varies. So anyway, you see it, going through the week. Had a great week, can't complain. Can't complain at all on that. Count your blessings, right? Even when you don't make your sales, celebrate that. Celebrate the fact that you know what you didn't do, but also celebrate the fact you did make a sale. There's a lot of people that aren't making sales out there. A lot of people. I see it, I watch the videos. I see, you know, people, some people aren't making sales. So make your own personal goal. I say it every single week. If you don't have a board, figure out some way to keep track of something, right? Figure out some way to motivate yourself, uh, whatever that may be. That motivates me because I know I can take a look every day and be like, man, I suck that day. Yep. Self-accountability. That's all I have this week. Hopefully y'all can join us on Wednesday when I, myself and Regina, as we hold the Wednesday Hump Day Hangout with our special guests you'll see when I drop it out and then we also have a new segment that we're going to do it's going to be dope, y'all need to come join us so thank you again for watching hope y'all have a great rest of the week go out there and hustle, post those items and I'll see y'all on the flip side